Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2, I'm your host Mr. Mokalover, and right now we are at war, or in a little bit of a conflict with a certain African nation, one, well, that we really want to be part of our empire, in which right now, we're looking pretty tall, we're looking pretty good, pretty tall, and just in case, uh, this might be the second time I'm actually recording this, just because we might have had a lot of rebels spawn out, hopefully we don't get a lot of rebels this time, because that'd be really bad, I'm going to put you down in Hungary, or let's go put you in, where are we going, Pest, where's Pest, right here, just, just in case we get a lot of rebels, just in case. Uh, and we'll do state capitalism because we like state capitalism. We've got some comments to go through as well. But it is 1857, and we are almost done researching nationalism and imperialism. So, first comment. Uh, actually, okay, so from the first episode, a lot of people want me to form the Danubian Federation, which was actually my original goal in this, for this campaign. Other people want me to do the South German Federation instead, which I think I might save if I ever played Bavaria or these minor German states. I might save that for later. So, we'll see about that. Um. And someone also said, try a different tactic, where you plays Aust who plays Austria, but instead of like, you know, forming either one, release all your puppets, and basically go from there, and <laughs> just get pu just puppet everybody throughout the rest of the campaign, which actually sounds like a lot of, a lot of craziness. Maybe not. I would say maybe a lot of fun. Well, maybe it's a lot of fun, but it just sounds absolutely crazy. But Calabar is gone as well. Great, 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 great. Now that just means we got more people to use for the for the army. Great. Uh, build it up. We don't have enough money for that, but whatever. We could really use more money. So, we're going to be continue building up our army. Um, other comments include, someone recommends we should do a Polish-Lithuanian campaign in Victoria too sometime. That sounds like a lot of fun too. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Always eventually. Because I'm not really sure when we'll get to it, but just because these campaigns take a lot lot of time to do. So, uh, Polish people, you can be good little infantry guys. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah. Do we get... Is it only two I did? Uh, that one. We need a, a Hussar, right? Yeah, we need a Hussar here, too. Cool. Uh, Polish. Polish Hussars. Thumbs up from us. And also, we have four national focuses. Bureaucrats, 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 and bureaucrats. I'm trying to get at least the administration up to at least like 90, 95, 100% just to make sure that we're good. And I think from here on out, we'll probably attack Prussia again. Because their score is six. The biggest, the only reason why they're still considered major power for the most part is because of their industrial score, which is the Rhineland, of course. Which, actually, if we could give that to... Bavaria, that actually probably be really good, but we'll probably end up taking Westpreussen and Ostpreussen eventually, so that'd be good. Uh, someone also recommends we play a Sardinia. Actually, I was really considering doing a Sardinia Piedmont run, but it is what it is at the time of this recording. Also, try out Mexico. I don't know, Mexico, maybe? We'll see. Mexico has a lot of potential. Has a lot, a lot of potential. Also, we did take these guys out last time as well, which is great, 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 great. Number of population down here. But we do have a few Germans down here, which is nice. Um, yeah, and then someone says we should become Austria Hungary. Then become the German Empire to get Hungarian as an accepted culture, which sounds smart. And someone recommends we take Holstein ASAP. Well, I kind of forgot about it, and now they're allied with Prussia, so. Oh, uh, yeah, my bad. But it is what it is. Once we knock Prussia out of great power status, we'll sphere them, we'll sphere all the German states, get all states terrain, and basically become mega Germany, so. Cool, and we'll go to war with someone else very soon. Alright, so we finished up researching the nationalism and imperialism technology, but. Now we can form Austria-Hungary if we want to, but let's go ahead and choose another check first. Uh, I really want to make sure that we're really, like, steaming through ahead. I would love to get this. I would love, love, love to get this one. It's just, we really need to make sure our military score is really good. The Prussians are going to come in soon. I want more education efficiency, though, because we're only at 41%. How do that one first? And we'll, get, we'll focus a lot more on the army next. All right, so here's the thing. Now, let's go and do this one first. The Valley of the Kings. Egypt is a potentially endless source of new archaeological discoveries. By petitioning the government for a monopoly to carry out excavations in the Valley of the Kings, we can ensure that we make these fantastic discoveries rather than other great powers. Which is cool. The government has refused to allow us ex excavation rights in the Valley of the Kings. Our international prestiges have been lowered as a result, and relations with Egypt have been soured, which kind of sucks. Now, we could do the Austro-Hungarian com Compromise. The nobles of the Hungarian estates have for some time been pushing for increased independence for the Hungarian people and the crown of St. Stephen. A proposal for compromise has now been drafted under which the Kingdom of Hungary is now and the Empire of Austria will amalgamate into a new political entity, the Austro-Hungarian dual monarchy. Gott erhält Gott besucht. We could do this, and I know some people want me to do this, but if you go with Austro-Hungarian com Compromise, you cannot form the German Empire, which I know you can do with, uh, you know, Prussia, which I have, actually, technically... You guys probably don't haven't realized this, but I actually did do an old, like a Prussia to Germany campaign in the old days, in the when I first started this channel, and I had no idea what I was doing, which I'll play as Prussia again sometime. Now that I understand Victoria 2 a lot better than from then, um, but 
we I kind of already set us up to basically become Germany. Like, uh, I know you won't get all these the cultures and stuff, but we don't have them right now, anyways. It, it really feels like I really set us up for a Germany a mega or just a big Germany campaign. So, I think I might play Austria twice. I think that's probably what I'm going to do, because next time I play Austria. Regardless of mod, maybe it's HPM, maybe HFM, Blood and Iron. I think that we'll do it then. We'll play Austria Hungary then. And actually, in HPM, you can get the Nubian Federation. I did click on this earlier to see what this would do for uh, Austro Hungarian Compromise. Obviously, it's good to get more cord cultures, except the cultures, but whatever it is, what it is. Um, but yeah, if you take this, you can form the German Empire. If you do take this, though, you can form the Nubian Empire in HPM. I did check this the stats for it, or just check out what the Danubian Federation would give you. It didn't necessarily say you got more accepted cultures, so I'm not sure if it's really worth doing. So I think for this campaign, we're just going to become Mega Germany because we love Austria, we love the Germans, and I'll play and become the South German Confederation sometime. I'm just not sure when, but I did want to uh, tell you guys what the game plan is. So it is what it is, and we'll probably go to war with Prussia very, very soon. Well, this is going to be a little weird. So off screen, Prussia actually was declared war upon by the French. And Prussia, because of all their allies, uh, actually were able to defeat the French. And the French wanted to contain the Prussians <clears throat> of all things. So that's why we have Elsass here. And actually, because of the war, I was like, okay, if fresh, fresh, Prussia and France was killing, were killing each other, I might as well go in and take off, or kill off France as well to take Elsass terrain, but apparently Saxony wanted Elsass to be liberated, so... I still have a war goal against them, to take land from them. So we might as well go for the Adines here and get a lot of sulfur, because I do want Elsass under us, and we have already allied them. We're trying to sphere them right now, and we already have a war goal against the Prussians here, um, regarding a certain hegemony. So, and they're not doing so well in Prussia, literal Prussia. So, yeah, this is gonna be weird. Hopefully, we do well. Like they didn't lose too much, and actually, we want the state of Champagne. No, Adines. Champagne's next to it, but Adines is what we definitely, definitely want. Um, yeah, call all of our allies in. Uh, Elsass will not go to war with them, which is actually really bad until 1859, October 3rd. Ah, uh, oof, we have to wait until then. Would we be able to go to war with them quickly by going through war with Prussia first? I want to say yes. We need to go to war by December. And these, their score is 33. It's really not that good. Would we be able to do this real quick? Our armies... I've already spent max out spending. Actually, I've not yet. Give it one more month. We'll go to war with Prussia first. We don't have a lot of money. I maxed out tariffs because we're out of money. Um, kill off Prussia first. Uh, I might have to redo it then. Might have to re-justify then. I don't want to lose it, but with... Oh, Colorado, that's not good. Um, without these guys going to war, we really will literally have no way to get into there. Of course, we could always call in our allies in Sardinia and Piedmont as well. Ooh, yeah, we could probably do that. Yeah, I could probably do that. Okay, screw it. We'll go to these guys first. Because Sardinia and Piedmont are... Yeah, they, they want to go to war, so let's do it. Screw it. We're going in first. We're going in first. Screw it. Let's go in. Um, go there, and then go there. Uh, you guys head on through here, just in case. And you guys do what you can over there. Cool. Now we're at war with Belgium, the Papal States, and Neuchâtel, which is fine. Um, actually, go down to the Papal States, too, since we're here. Teach the Pope a lesson, am I right? Cool. See what happens. Hopefully we do well. I hope we do well. My goodness. And I made sure our generals are generally okay. They're not any minus for attacking defense and stuff like that. So, Ah, the Belgians have arrived. Alright, don't do that yet. Let these guys move around first. I really want them to move around first. And go, go to Ravina. Alright, so Prussia still wants Saxony, which is fine. Um, go in if you can. There you go, going to. There you go. Uh, the French are showing up there, which is fine. We'll take out the Pope first. It's very weird. Hopefully... Oh, yeah, two Sicilies has been called in too. So the Pope will be easy to defeat, hopefully. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. I hope I didn't make a massive mistake here and have to reload the save. Alright, so we got that. The Pope is good. Uh, we'll just siege you on Belgium as well. Where is our army over here? Come down here first. Oh, that's good. They already got one province. And very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, hopefully, Prussia does a good war with us. I'm going to keep one army here. Uh, you move over to Vienna for now. You come on down here, too. Nice. 
Cool. And as you can see, we're doing still doing biologism, so. I definitely don't want to attack here yet. I definitely do not want to do that. Regius, maybe? We'll see what happens. They're not really going through Elsass, which makes sense. Oh, uh, the Pope. Romagna requires Roman Emilia Romagna. Who did that? Oh. Um. And with these guys in the war, not in the war, that'd be actually really good for us. Huh. And, okay. That actually spares up our armies. This makes it harder for Italy to unite, I think, maybe? So, okay. I, I really don't care, I'll be honest. I, we, I, I just care about killing off France. Ooh, that's not bad. That's actually really good for us. Ooh, that's not... That's not good. Oh, they're gonna lose so many guys in Bavaria there. Oh my gosh. Or, let's see, just one down first. They're taking a while for this one. What if we encircle the... Well, there's so many land territories here. You know, land territories. So many territories here that they, the French could skip and move around to. Ooh, yes. Well done. Very good. Nice. Go up here too. That'll be good. There's only two armies up here, which really sucks, but whatever. Uh, you guys get a third army up there too, which is good. Nice. That's all I want is this territory. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna be attacking us. Where's our spare army? Actually, are you good on defense? Wittenberg is okay on defense. He's not too bad. He's not too bad. Plus two is not great, but whatever. Oh, why are you attacking? Why are you attacking there? What is your attack? Plus four. That's not bad. This guy's not really good in defense either. You actually go in. Cool. Color of spreads. That's not good. Did you actually win there? Oh, you actually did. Look at that. Go figure. Um, head up here, maybe? I mean, this part is looking not too bad for us right now. I'm just worried that they will attack us, so. We will need to attack this army. I don't know how good the Olivier de Bozis is. Oh, they must be mobilized. Actually, if you both go in, you might actually be able to kill them off. Now that's nice. Oh god, they're throwing more guys in. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we're still winning. Oh, they're throwing more guys in. That's not good. Um, head into here then. Get that extra army in. He's really good on attack. Oh, we're using our guy who's really good on attack, even though we're doing a river crossing as well, which is really bad. Hey, not bad. 63,000 have been lost. Good, good, good. Uh, what's the war score like now? We need eight, 13. We need 18. Find the armies and kill them. Hopefully, you're going to let Jakob lead there, so. Anything else? Uh, stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. That's really bad. Uh, you actually might be able to do well down here. These guys are attacking. Um, that's actually really good for defense. You can stay down there for now. Good. On the 9th, we'll get there on the 10th, which sucks. Okay. Don't think we'll actually be able to go to war with Prussia after this. Give us some time, though. We should be able to. You find him, you kill him. Um, nice. Battle over done. It's a good battle over done, man. Very good. We're the most prestigious country in the world now, which is awesome. And there you go. Cool. Uh, Jakob, you'll probably leave this by yourself. There you go. Nice. Oh, the Valley of the Kings. Oh, I think I did that one already, right? Alright, the government of Egypt has now granted us the exclusive rights to excavate and investigate ancient ruins in the Valley of the Kings. The potential discoveries that will provide or prove an enormous opportunity for us to increase our scientific renown in the world. Excellent. Awesome. Yay. You guys go there. You guys go there. That'd be nice. Nice, 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 nice. Kill them all off. Um, we could probably actually probably full siege these guys down. Um, yeah, that might be really good for us. Even though we do need to do Belgium as well. I think we're allied to them. Oh, what's going on here? So, new sea. Um, anything here? No, not really. Is that like an alliance? No? Okay. How far does France want to go with this, though? They would accept that. At this point, though, we're doing quite well. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. We're doing quite well. So, actually, maybe we we'll try to go for Paris, maybe? Maybe? Getting kind of, kind of crazy here. Might try to go for Paris. Ferdinand von Kolbraten. Ah, uh, so close. Paris will be ours. This might really hurt France in the long run. I don't know. Oh, they peaced out. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so maybe we should peace out then. Uh, let's see if we should peace out. Cool. We'll just peace out. That's fine. 
Because we do need to go to war with the Prussians next, so. Alright, let's put you guys all up here, and then put you guys right here. Our armies aren't looking great, but that's okay. They'll get over it. <laughs> and then you guys go right there, and then you guys go right there. And how's this army looking? Not too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Demobilizing. Alright. We can't really afford to make a new army, it looks like, just yet. So, but... Italians, two, three, well, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. Oh, well, I guess we can make another one. I'm glad I checked it real quick. Good. Because we'll force them to hegemony next. Nice. I guess we got more sulfur. This looks really bad for borders, though, but hey, that's okay. That's totally okay with us. We have third military score in the world. We lowered these guys, so they were at 110-ish before. What is this? Tunis? Sure. Svias and Wettenbeck. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't really care. Oh. Can we get military access, guys? Thank you. All right, let's go. Can we not get... Uh... Curse of the Sparrows. How we started, we do not know, but what we do know is that it was once a rumor that now become public wisdom. The rumor that has grown from breeze to storm is that a curse befalls anyone who disturbs the tombs of the pharaohs in the Valley of the Kings. And some even claim that our excavation th team threatens to draw down the curse on all of Austria. It's a historical rumor, of course, but the hysteria there is nonetheless. What's next? A comment sided? There we go. Now we can move over. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, also we did get to all, all allowed for trade unions. These people really want wealth voting, so I don't like that one, but we'll do it anyways. Because I've already ignored them for far too long. And what's the military score of Prussia currently? Oh, guys, I need you over here too, probably. I don't care about revolts right now, I really don't. Actually, you guys are looking pretty good over here. 28. These guys' military score is 38. Of course, they still have all their little puppets and such, but whatever. Oh, uh, that's a good idea to keep, check in with what we have down here. 36%, 87%, almost close. We're close to getting Central Hungary done, which is good. Get our guys stationed around here. Oh, that's not ideal. And you guys are moving to Prague, which is fine. Morocco, sure, you can come into war with us then. All right, we're looking pretty good. Third largest military in the world. Who would have thunk it? All right, so these guys are looking really bad. <clears throat> but we can go to war with these guys just because we're going to set hegemony. Which would be great, we get more prestige, they lose a lot of prestige, and you know what, just in case, let's save. Because we can. They have more Miltic than us, I'm pretty sure, so. Alright, so I said Hegemony. What's another great power to concede your leadership over your common cultural union? Alsace will not accept, which sucks. Uh, neither will Morocco. But so and Piedmont, the South German states, two Sicilies, and Greece, of all places. We're going straight in. Um, we're not taking a break here yet. Nope. Going straight on in. They're going to call these guys in as well. Let's see. Ah, yes, good. Von Württemberg, straight to Saxony. Another Von Württemberg, straight to Saxony. Leipzig, please. Ah, oh, Von Rune is here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this is painful. No, 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 no. Oh, actually. He's attacking us, which is not good, but whatever. Uh, we'll do the best we can. Go in there, too. I don't care. Just just siege Berlin down. Oh, we won, the, oh, we won both battles. Great. Where is he? Greifswald? No. 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 A thousand times no. Oh god, they're marching through our lands, the rebels. Well, as long as they don't want to kill us. <clears throat> That's the most important thing. I'll head there too. Berlin will be ours. Berlin will be ours! Oh, Chamber of Commerce protests. I think I've read this one before, so if you'd like to do this, please go ahead. Liberal support? I want to get more liberal support. We want more reforms. Let's see anything here. Bavaria, Sardinia, Piedmont. <laughs> Yeah, they, they they peaced out early with the French. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to call you straight back in. Hey, 25,000 have died. Yay. That's exactly where you need to go next. Good. Hey, but I've Greifswald. Very good. Um, Strassland? Strassland. Ah, yes. There will be no peace. Oh, you're trying to mobilize, huh? Now, the Rhineland's going to have a lot of guys down here, but whatever. All right, good, 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 good. Awesome, awesome. Keep sieging them down. You guys go in here. You should probably do okay there. I'm not really too worried about that. We might have to deal with these rebels, but you know what? As long as it hurts Germany more than us right now, I don't really care for crap. <laughs> nice. Schwellen, very good, very good. The battle for Germany's soul is up. 
upon us, my friends. And we just got Mission to Civilized. Yes. Very good. And happy 1860, everyone. Oh, I want to do more military tech right now. But I'm going to go Imperial System first. That took a long time to get. And actually, since we're here, since it's so close anyway, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. Thank you very much. More bureaucrats anywhere else right now. God, we need so many bureaucrats everywhere. Uh, instead of that for now, though, and our capital. Oh, yeah. Hopefully those guys don't hurt us too much. We're going to well, get some intellectuals. We need more research points. Come on. Oh, boy. Uh, Von Rune is still here. If we attack them now, we should still do okay. We can't do too much on defense, though. So. And hopefully our allies are doing quite well against these guys. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they're doing okay. Not great. As long as we beat up with the armies, our allies can siege everyone else down. So that's good. Hey, Bard of Hal. Von Rune, you've lost. Accept defeat. Oh. What happened there? White Peace. Um, I'm not sure that's going to screw up anything here. Because I just want to assert hegemony. This might be okay? I'm not really sure. Strausun? Elsass, yes. Because we need that one. And actually, we need Luxembourg as well. And we'll need Holstein. But we're going to be asserting hegemony anyway, so it should be okay. That's a Denmark. That's fine for now, I suppose. Good. No. Rune, no. I swear to God, Rune. Good. It's good to see that. A botanical expedition stranded. The botanical expedition we dispatched some time ago and just found itself stranded in Marrakech with a leaking hole no rations. The expedition leader sent word home and with the returning ship requesting additional funds for the continued journey to the heart of darkness. Shall we provide the additional funds? No, he's on his own. Yes. We, have no, we don't have that much money, but yes. A thousand times yes. Good, 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 good. Fine, I don't really care. Uh, Frankfurt on mine. Uh, I just want to make sure that we're still at war with Hess Castle, just so we have access to the Rhineland. Are they sieging us down here? No, they're not sieging us down here, huh? Oh, because they don't have access, that's why. Oh my goodness. I know the 17,000 Prussians have died. Goodbye. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's let's save those guys there for it. You guys head on here. You find any enemy armies, you blow them up. Hello. All right. Well, I guess wrong. I told you not to do that. I literally told you not to do that. Uh, sure, Elsass. You gotta come in now, though. No, I guess I can't. So no point even doing that then. Battle of Leipzig. Very good. Head into here, and then head into... Th oh, this one's looking worse right now. Uh, help out too, why not? Screw it. Well, we defeated the rebels for now. It was what it was. It isn't really going to cost us a lot. Oh, wow, look at that. Pres oh, nice. Alright, the rebels are dying. It's good. Yeah, I think overall we're winning. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, 45%. That's pretty good. Uh, will you set a set a Gemini? Oh, Holstein requires all states. Return all core states to Holstein from Schleswig Holstein. Wait. It's Schleswig Holstein. They're going to liberate Holstein. Yeah, I don't know about that one, man. I, 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 I don't know about that one. We still need 100 war score, anyways, so. That's good. Well, at this point, it's pretty much just... I think we've killed off pretty much every army they have. For the most part. Maybe not everything, but close to it. They, they still have guys over there, too, but whatever. Um, cool. Oh, you guys are doing it quick. What? White Peace? Are you insane? Of course they're insane. The Prussians. Saxe Weimar, that's fine. Just make sure you don't create a stupid little republic. Ah, the Greeks have shown up. Look at that. I thought the Greeks said no to us. Wait, what? Greece? They didn't say no, apparently. Okay. Oh, I still have an army down here. Uh, Clam. Are you good on attack? Sending you guys... Oh, hello. Von Rune is still here. They still have a mobilized army.
Well, you guys are gonna die. Um, or not. What? What's going on? Oh! Oh, we got a river crossing, and he's got no artillery. Oh, that's so nice. Um, I don't think if I send someone down here, we'll be able to do this. What is this? Uh, yes, that's fine. Morocco, that's fine, but you have to come in with me right now. Partially westernized? Alright, well, you made your choice. Nope. Oh! Okay, so we actually lost that battle. Huh. It's weird. Alright, well, kill them off then. Nassau, yes, that's fine. No, where are you going, son? Get your fat back back here. How dare you, rune. Alright, Romagna. Oh, yes. Get rid of him. Von Rune is gonna be gone. This is really killing our army off. It's not very good for us. It's alright, though. With Prussia out of the way, hopefully we can make it super, super Germany. Oh, wait, why did I do that? What the heck? Mr. Mulcliver. Uh, no. Stop asking me for that. Mecklenburg? Um, that one's here-ish? Yeah. Uh, no. Because we still need areas into here, so go screw yourself, son. Oh! Look, what's going on between the Russians and the British? The Austrian, Austrian brother, Prussian Brothers War. Uh, War of the Russian Control over Bukhara. Okay. And America's at war, too. Yeah, everyone's just kind of killing each other. And that's what we love. Berlin will be ours once again. Goodbye, Von Ruin. Sayonara. I'm surprised we made this much money so far, I'll be honest. Like, man, war is profitable. Oh, that's not, this, uh, this area is almost done, too. Croatia. Let's see. I'll start like your 3.7%, which is actually pretty good. That's actually pretty darn good, actually. Um, has a, nope, definitely not that one. Either search hegemony or die. Lubick, uh, that's fine. Thank you, Greek boys. I'll be sure to pay off some of your debts when uh, you need it. Good, good, good. Oh, there's some rebels too. Oh, we need to get to Prussia too. Um, let's go to Hanover first though. Uh, but really, uh. My god, what are you guys doing over here? Um, the Rhineland really, need to get, really needs to get taken out first. I'll uh, go there first. Status quo, huh? Oh, the Annex Tunis. I don't really care. Alright, effort. Alsace. 87% of the way there, my friends. Once we get Berlin, it should be all over. Bielfeld. Bielfeld. We did it. Commission of Warship. That's kind of cool. So we've done that right now. I'm not sure if that's even worth doing right now. But uh, let's see. Let's go look at it. So, setting hegemony. Oh, we need Prussia to be under us too. They're seventh in the world. God dang it. Are you kidding me? So we got all that. We still need to knock them out even a little bit more. We need Elsass. We got Luxembourg, so this is looking kind of crazy. Uh, if there's any way we could force them out, force them to become a lower power, I might have to go back to war them one more time. That looks really scary with Belgium and the French sphere. Oh, they're, that's actually kind of cool looking in the spheres. No wonder they went with uh, war with us. We had kind of allied with them. It's actually really cool looking at all this stuff. So yeah, this is not bad. It just uh, I need to get the kill off Germany one more, or Prussia one more time. One more time for Prussia. One more time. And oh my god, the armies are so bad right now. Uh, you go back over here and just kind of hang out. So, with that in mind, um, uh, Commissioner Warship, if you want to know about that, please go right ahead. We could, but I'm not really focused on a navy for now. I might just go ahead and go to war with someone else, and then we're going to come back and maybe beat up the Prussians some more. Alright everyone, so I've kind of thought about it. Maybe I should have waited to go to war with Prussia just because they're still 7th in the world technically and as they get a bigger military score, um, well, they'll get a higher, higher score. Hopefully these guys rebel or something. I mean, there's a lot of Jacobins here. It's really not looking good for these guys over here, but there's not really much they can really do. Um, I should have really fully sieged down these guys. That would have killed off their industry. I should have done that. My bad. So we got to wait until 65 to go to war with them again. We've almost got a pure system done, but let's go to war with Africa because we love Africa here. 
Uh, also, we can form, or basically before we go to uh, war, could have done the create the South German Confederation. With our dominant position over the South German states, we can create the South German Confederation, a union that would be under our full control and more useful ally than the nation separately. Which actually probably is a pretty good thing to do, because we do get them as a satellite. So, I think we'll do that one next. And if they can become a great power, that would actually be really bad, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Trade one enemy for another. We'll see what happens. We might want to unite them, but we'll see what happens. Let's just do this first. You can get some empiricism, and then we're working on a military attack, too. Awesome, awesome. Get the research points, and let's go ahead and grab some of these guys. Thank goodness. All right. Consciousness in a non-colonial, so be it. Secularization first. Nope. All right, thank you. Oh, what? what? Are you kidding me? Come on. You had literally one day left. Ah. And right now, I'm, I'm literally just... Okay, a lot of conservative reactionaries. The Socialist Party was founded by Hamburg. And, uh, yeah. Not too bad. Plurality, meritocracy versus aristocracy. Good, good, good. Jugu, thank you very much. I did want to go to war with China, but I forget the requirements to go to war with China to take a puppet state off of them. I forget what exactly we needed. Oh, wait. These guys are alone. Oh. Yeah, no one else wanted to fight us, huh? Well, that's alright. We're the second most powerful nation in the world, which is great. Uh, oh, hey, a new uh, thing we can do there. Nice. It is 62, so. Thank you very much. Annex Dahomey. We love Dahomey. Um, give it one day, maybe. Oh, there we go. Create the South German Confederation. Probably a bad idea to do, but we could probably do it anyways. One, two, uh, since we're here, we got, we don't have that much money, honestly, but uh, let's put you guys in half. We need to get rid of th one, two, three, four. Because I'll send you guys down here. You can form what? Because that makes 30,000. Uh, do that and get at least one horse for those guys, so they'll be really good. You guys just do that. And anything else? Uh, Prussia broke their lines with Sig Sigmarian, which is fine with us. Oh, so can do anything else here. What do they want? Secu secularize, okay. Universal, w w point eight six, huh? Um, 5.56%. Okay, no giraffe, probably not. Let's go with... Proportional representation, maybe? I don't know. I don't really care. Two base based on population, let's go with that one. Get more immigrant attraction. And this is probably a really bad idea, so I'm going to save it anyways. But I guess it's better to have one strong ally than three smaller al allies. So become become them? No. We want to create it, so we get more prestige, which would be great. Look at that. Looks like all Bavaria, but that's really, really strong. And they're in our sphere. And they're our satellite, which is great. They're only 45th, but as it gets stronger and stronger, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this is not a this won't be a pain in the butt to do, but I'm just hoping that these guys get a lower score eventually because of the lack of prestige they get from all these old territories, which doesn't make sense to me. If you have a lot of siege on territories, you should slowly lose more prestige in my mind. But hey, maybe that's just me. All right, everyone. So I've got a war with Vietnam already, and as you can see, we're doing quite well. And apparently, I did this like a little bit off screen, and uh, well, the British got the stuff here. But let's we'll do the Treaty of Hanoi. The Vietnamese are in dire straits. They cannot hold out for much longer. Perhaps we should offer them the chance to go to the negotiating table. And in this war between us, on terms very much in our own favor, of course. We need to get the infamy. The die yet Emperor agrees. The Vietnamese rulership has signed a peace treaty, granting us a state as a concession. We're no longer be enemies. Okay, cool. So we got what exactly what I wanted. Great. And these ships are actually looking really bad. So hey, we got Saigon, which looks great, great, great. Uh, we're not making a lot of money, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, of course. Um, yeah, pretty much I'm... We're just getting ready to go to war with uh, Prussia again, because we really need to. Oh, Qing Empire, we're, we have a little two our relations. But yeah, they're 243, a lot of them are 8th. So after this one, we'll go to war with Prussia. They're looking, there's so many rebels here just stewing. Their military is still not very good. We'll call in all of our allies now that we have all the German spheres uh, with us. And they'll, I'm, I'm literally just going to annex uh, the Rhineland. Because that, that, the Rhineland is probably the, the most valuable resource they have. But we'll see. Ah, hopefully this will be the last war we need against Prussia, who are currently fighting the French, because Prussia decided to take and keep New, uh, Neuchâtel. So, right now, actually, it's the French and Swiss trying to beat up the Prussians. Switzerland also, obviously, wants Neuchâtel. Well, France said, we're going to cut Prussia down to size, as well as demand reparations, so we kind of already have our work cut out for us. I mean, we're not we're not making a lot of money. And I maxed out tariffs, which is not very good. But I do want to let you know that we did get to, well, technically, we first went got and trinket minimum Trinket minimum wage. Trinket healthcare first. And then I jumped over to get basic school system. And to not make sure that people weren't too pissed off at us. I guess I want... Oh, we still have child labor is legal. Okay, that's good, cool. Minimum wage, yes. I gave that this one because this is the one they wanted the most. So I'm like, okay, screw it. I don't want any rebels while we're at war. So let's go to war. Why not? I want... Oh, what do we want? Russian Rhineland. This, I feel so bad destroying a project like this. But we want the Rhineland just because this is probably the area that has the most industry currently 
Um, I, I mean, this over here as well, the Palatinate, is really, really good. Palatinate, yeah. It's really, really good. Like, it's incredibly strong. But this group also has, you know, a pretty good population. Like, a really good population. A ton of coal. If we take that away from them, their industry will, will plummet. We'll destroy their armies. We'll destroy their industry. We'll destroy their prestige. And we gotta be okay and certain that the South German Federation does not become number eight in the world. Because there's a really good chance they will. Actually, right now, what is the score like? Uh, country, what is this? Rank. Uh, let's take a look here. Sardinia so, de Piedmont is 8th. Ottomans are 9th. Followed, ooh, very closely behind these guys. Um, actually, what's the total score right now? I just going to keep an eye on that. 176. You guys are, okay, so that's actually good. That's actually really good. They're 2-2-2. Two, two, two. These guys, so we got to beat a Prussia as hard as we possibly can. So, and we want the Platinum. No, the Rhineland. Prussian Rhineland. We get the Rhineland. This, the board's going to look so bad. Um, Rhineland. Yes, please. We're going to call all of our allies in. Everyone will accept, except for Paraguay, which, I'll be honest, makes sense. So, and apparently we united, we got, I got an alliance with the USA earlier because, yeah, the Confederates still exist in 1866. Go figure. I, you gotta love Vicky 2. You gotta love Vicky 2. Just the weirdness of what happens here. Uh, we're still gonna go to war with these guys. We have really good relations with them still. I'll do that for just a case. Cool, and let me move my uh, wrapper. I was eating a protein bar in the meantime. And even though the Prussians are mobilized, ooh, I don't know how strong these guys are, but we do got to remember, we've got a lot of allies, hopefully. Including the Greeks, which is weird to say, but you know what, we'll take them. Also, I do want to make sure we come to Frankfurt on mine. Uh, oh, well, maybe because they're not our allies, technically, but can we get military access? I want to make sure you don't have too many rebels. Ooh, does that mean we can't actually go through here yet? Oh, we kind of can, that's good. Actually, yeah, we can, that's good. That's very good. Awesome, awesome. And head on to the Rhineland, too. Even though the French are doing a great job against them right now. Alright, boys, let's go in! Actually, who, who is this leader? Dreyer. He's really good on, on de attack, so attack, so on defense, this will be good. And who are they attacking us with down here? Halkett? He's really good on attack. That's not good. We'll be fine up here. Over here, I'm a little more worried about. Never mind. Just, just never mind. Oh, I, we're just doing the Germans so dirty. It's, it's so disgusting. It's so bad. I am so sorry, Prussia. Not really. Let both of you guys come down here, take them out. Oh, good. And as you can see, oh, Prussia, Prussia, Prussia. It's not looking very good, so. Um, nice. Guys, would you like an alliance? Can I give you military? God, give me military access so I can save you guys. God dang it. And we still have Luxembourg under us too, which is awesome, so. Um, hopefully we'll do well here. Let's see. You guys do that and go to, I guess we go to Berlin, huh? Yeah, we're losing a lot of money, so we gotta do this quickly. Ah, uh, the French are still here. Morale. Uh, maybe we shouldn't take that, because it's still owned by the French. But they should capitulate. Oh, hello. Very soon, right? Because we'll take over all Prussia. We got. We actually have to fully siege them down this time around, just because, uh, well. We can't let things go on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I forgot about you guys, too. Hey, I got more army organization. We're making sure we're really strong here. Let's get our intergamic chemistry next, though. We can really use that. Kill the rebels, kill the rebels. You know, it is what it is. And we actually started making some cannons, uh, some engineers, I should say. Some engineers, which is very nice. Uh, come up there, too. That'd be nice. I love having allies, and we have no money. Third largest military in the world, though. But no money. But still, third largest military in the world, so. Frankfurt on mine. Will you, for the love of God, give us stuff. Oh, what happened here? Seriously. Oh! Oh, we're not part of the Iron Ring. Look at that. The Iron Ring, socialists, German radicals. Alright, let's, uh, let's go. The Iron Ring, Jingoism, we like that. Interventionism is okay. Iron Ring, uh, Radical Party, the Socialist Party. I Oh, I don't like that. I like, say, capitalism, but not pacifist. German Radicals. That's not bad. I like this party a lot. I like the Jingoism. I like the limited citizenship. I love the state capitalism and the pluralism. It's okay. The Federalist Great Proprietors. That seems like a mouthful. Sounds like a mouthful. Just don't put the proprietors in your mouth. Just saying. Anyways, anyways. Uh, hopefully they peace out with these guys first. Oh, we have no more score here. Oh! Oh, God! Wait, what? The pa What? The German pan-nationals enforce their demands. Oh, that is not good. So they actually joined this group. Oh, they're ninth in the world. That's not good. They're 14th in the world now. Ugh. I don't want to fight these guys. I really don't. Ugh. I knew doing that was a mistake. 
Give me Paraguay. Um, are these guys still at war? They are. They're fine. I feel I feel kind of bad for them. I'll be honest, man. Are the is the UK here too? No, it looks like the UK, but it's not. Okay. Oof. Um, is it possible to pump up? Uh, actually, uh, the Ottomans score. We need another one of these guys. Engineers, engineers, Polish engineers. I'm looking for German engineers. Do we not have any more? I guess not. Eh, that's fine. Um, there's still eight, which is nice. That's not good. That's not good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Ottomans should still be in the lead, though, right? Two, two, seven. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So let's go over here, and we'll definitely make sure that they die. Coming up to Königsberg. Uh, empirical combat efficiency matrix. Very nice. Mobile position size is very nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. Mm, nothing really around there. Bremen. Are we worth Bremen? No, we're not. Um, you guys, got, come on home. We might actually soup up this army a little bit better. This, this is looking... Actually, it's looking not too bad. Oh, but we changed the parties, too, so... Uh, we can actually probably lower this by a little bit, too. Actually, at this point, it really doesn't matter. Prussia says, acquire Rhineland. I want to wait first. Maybe... Ugh... Because to form the German Empire... We, do we have to be peace or do they have to be peace? I don't want to fight the French. How strong are the French? 150. We are 168. Ooh, we wanted the Rhineland. That's all we really wanted. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to see this. No, I'm going to say, see this area down first. I want to make sure that we get it under us. And the longer we wait, the longer... Oh. Hello. Well, Italy's formed. Hello. Hello. Uh, we could increase relations, but now we're okay. Hey, at least we got... Oh, Italy's not going to like us for a long time then. Yeah, they're really not going to like us then. That's okay. That's totally okay with us. Come to Allenstein first. Come on, please peace out with the French. Please, 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 please. Oh! Oh, Jacobin rebels! They finally enforced it! They finally enforced it! Oh, the new... Oh, the new liberal regime? Oh, my goodness. Liberal party here. They've broken them. Yeah, Germany's done. Cool. Or, no. I guess Prussia's technically done. Elbing, please, yes. Danke schön. Intervention in Luxembourg. We've been secretly pushed by certain members within the Luxembourgian government, suggesting that Austrian intervention to free them from foreign control might be in both our interests. Luxembourg would be free to seek its own destiny, while Austria would gain an ally. And the catch, of course, is that the attempt would look like an interference to the rest of the world, an earnest enmity of Luxembourg's rulers in particular. If we make the attempt, we should learn the results within a week at most. Austria refuses to intervene. They're a puppet of these guys. Um, we have enough infamy, we'll try it. Italian unification. The Italians have managed to, fly, or to unify at long last, threatening Austrian interests in the region. We will have to decide whether it's our best interest to object or to make friends with the new rulers. What ha has been done cannot be undone now, after all, and a united Italy could be a formidable enemy or powerful Austrian ally. This is a threat to us. Uh, no, I, I say reconcile. We're not going to give them their lands. We'll reconcile them. For now. Um, just keep, stay here in Berlin for now. Someone's here. Okay, so... They've got to peace out eventually, right? 29%. I mean, it's slowly going up. Slowly, 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 slowly. Continue sieging these guys down, which... Oh, I'm so sorry, Prussia. Hey, combat loss evaluation schema, though. Very nice. Also, I don't want to forget about this, too. Let's see, what have we been doing? Italy's over here, which is weird because I still own their land. We're doing that barely. Uh, intellectuals in Transdanubia is looking pretty darn good. 4% is good enough. Slovakia, you're gonna need... Well, probably some bureaucrats, honestly. Yeah, they definitely need that, so that's okay. We're almost done there. Um, overall, not too bad. Um, Administration-wise, a lot of this is looking so god-awful. Prussia, I'm sorry, Prussia. I want you to be at peace first. Hey, Luxembourg is free! Our attempts to engineer a coup in Luxembourg was successful, and they're now an independent country as well as a useful ally. It's possible their overlords may attempt to retaliate either against them or us. We'll have to wait and see what develops. Excellent. Great! The Roman thaw. Hey, we actually got them out of their sphere. Oh, they won't accept. What? They said we get to use an ally. What the heck? 
Actually, because you're over here, actually, I'm gonna put you guys down here. Um, just be. It looks. It's really actually good to have Italy as an ally now. Finally, uh, I'm gonna put you guys over here just in case because we will need to siege him down eventually. Come on, France, you've gotta do it. You gotta do it. Come on, piece them out. Piece them out. If they don't piece them out, then I'm just gonna go ahead and just like finish this off screen or something. I'm sorry, guys. I'd love to, but they're gonna. You're gonna be my puppet when we're done here. Oh, look at that. Uh, what do they want? Child labor restricted. Because they want that so much, and actually, I actually want to get, get that too. We'll give it like two. I usually usually do two reforms, and then the third reform, I give them what they want. So I actually want uh, acceptable school system. I like all the rights allowed because you get more assimilation rate, more immigrant attraction. All cultures can vote, and if militants for non accepted goes down, which is really nice. Uh, but acceptable school system, more assimilation rate, more education efficiency, more immigrant attraction. That's just so good. And we're at fifty three percent for average literacy for a population. This is nice, very nice. Fully funded, nice. Kaiser. Hello. Oh, German Pan Nationalists. Alright, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, head on over here, too. Uh, the longer we wait, the stronger these guys become. Uh, you know what? <sighs> Let me make a save. I'm gonna make a save with you guys. Let's see what happens. Let's piece them out, then. Let's piece them out. Get them in our sphere. And maybe unify? We'll see what happens. Oh, Rhineland requires... Back to Rhineland from Prussia. Actually, is there anything else we do here? No, there's not. Okay. That is disgusting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is so disgusting. But now, oh, we can influence them. Oh, oh, you know what? I made a mistake. Let me go back and I'll see you in just a little bit. A greater Austrian destiny? Austrians have always walked a path slightly apart from those of their fellow Germans, and the notion of greater unification has never caught on in Austria as it has in the North lately. There are those who say Austria's unquestioned dominance obligates it to unite greater Germany under a single flag. Still others say that, no, Austria already has its own name and empire, and one that stretches over many cultures who would never w become welcoming, being more dominated by the Germans, not to mention that a greater Germany would alarm the powers of Europe to such a degree. It almost certainly herald a war. The question is, thus arises, what shall our path be? Austria has no interest in becoming Germany. I don't know about that. Give independence to our non-German states. Uh, give limited autonomy to our non-German states. Gain 20 infamy. Wow. Um, alright. Freely, Istria, Slovenia, Austria, Hungary loses any core in any province. Well, and that's Austria-Hungary, I mean, or we give up nothing to form Germany, which you get 40 infamy! 40! Holy crap! Um, I'll see what that one does. What does that one do? Does it do anything interesting? Just because at this point, uh, we can inherit the South German Confederation. We only have 58 infamy, that's all. Uh, and we can't do this one, which is weird, so, um, yeah. I, I don't understand how we can't do anything here. I mean, maybe we need Limburg under us? But at least for now, the Montenegrin borders. Uh, what else can we do here? We can officially recognize the CSA. We will extend formal recognition of the Confederate States of America, opening an embassy in the capital and formally establishing relations. The Yankees, of course, will not approve of this. Uh, I like prestige. Why not? Uh, found Budapest, uh, inherit the South German Confederation. With well, the great empire of the Habsburgs now lost to us, perhaps it's time to look north towards the unification of Germany. However, first we must bring the South German Confederation under our own leadership. That's a lot of prestige. That's a lot of infamy. And the South German Confederation, uh, let's do this one too. The Gründerzeit, the founding era, refers to a period stretching roughly from 1840 to the mid-1870s. A rapid economic modernization and industrialization of Germany and Eastern Europe in general, and Vienna in particular. The era became known, among others, as for a particular style of architecture, inspired by neo-Gothic themes and imagery. And the new building styles that industrialization has made possible, as well as the rising tide of political liberalism that came with it. Vienna would, during the era, support these new trends and watch Vienna blossom. Sure, why not? And <clears throat> the South German Confederation, while Germany was not united until the proclamation of the German Empire, following the Franco Prussian War. Rising nationalism in the 19th century that had meant that unification had been on the cards long before that, with the Frankfurt Assembly of 1848 being an important forerunner. By achieving a dominant position among the South German states, we can form the South German Confederation. Do we do that first? Uh, we try that out. Why not? Wow, we are. This is disgusting. Oh, we can. Oh my gosh. This is a... What happened to France? What? I mean, yeah, this is a lot of infamy. Holy crap. Um, Reichsland alsace lothringen Since we've acquired control over the former French regions of alsace lorraine perhaps we should also consider changing the street names. Let's institute the new Reichsland of alsace lothringen Um, honestly? Oh, we changed our flag too. Look at that. Uh, I mean, I wanted Limburg. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do anything here just because we're really close to getting them integrated. Also, we did not integrate these guys yet. This is so weird. This is disgusting. 
Hey, but you know what? Screw it. If we want to take anyone out, maybe we'll give Limburg to the Dutch and they'll annex them, and they'll annex the Dutch. Uh, three, hurrah, for Germany! By controlling directly or indirectly the manifold principalities, duchies and free seas that make up the German nation, we can unite our people into one singular nation state. Three hurrahs for the German Empire! We get even more prestige! Also, before we do that, um, so the war. I waited until 1870 for France and Switzerland to peace out fully, uh, so they get Neuchâtel and whatnot, so, which is totally fine. Um, and then retook over Prussia. Prussia actually became socialist, which is why their flag changed initially. So they became socialist while we still siege them down, and obviously we really beat them up, but this is awesome. Holy crap. So that's what happened in the war, and we're out of money. Oh, holy crap, what happened here? Okay, the Duchy of Limburg. Okay, so now that looks like... Jesus Christ. <laughs> With the Union of the German Confederation and a more unified state, an old member of the Confederation, the Duchy of Limburg, which was created to fill the spot of Luxembourg per the London Treaty, had its autonomy revoked and is being annexed by the Netherlands. Our claim in the region is continuous, but it exists and we could push for it. If we decided to do it, we have six months to stall the Netherlands before they annex Limburg and the other great powers might try to intervene. But if we succeed to liberate Limburg and bring them into our sphere, we will be able to annex it. Um... Uh, let it go. We recognize the territory as part of the Netherlands. We lose some infamy. Uh, a state that was once part of the Confederation is part of our country. Um, honestly, it, it makes no sense for why would we ever try to keep this with us. Just because if we keep this unified, we can just take Zealand from them. I'd rather do a war for all of Zealand than just for Maastricht. Uh, honestly, that'd be much better. So we lose that. And the, what is this one? The Niederwald uh, Denkmal. So something about a statue. It's a monument in the Niederwald part, has Germany. The monument's central figure is a 10 meter high statue of Germania, the personification of the German nation, holding aloft the recovered imperial crown of Germany, flanked by two statues representing war and peace, respectively. Built between 71 and 83, the monument was commissioned after the Franco Prussian War to commemorate the founding of the German Empire. Let us all rejoice in the glory of our nation united by erecting a monument to stand in the test of time. We have way too much infamy, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get rid of all this infamy. Um, I'm probably going to release pretty much everything we've gotten so far. Oh, we could also sign the Geneva Convention, but not really, no. Less than 25 infamy. Yeah, um, this is not good. I might have to actually mess around with this stuff a little bit. 40 infamy is insane. And which makes sense. I mean, that, it makes perfect sense why we shouldn't be able to do this, but still. Uh, yeah, this is really bad. What happened to France? Why are they 8th world power now? Because their armies are good and all, but they're not really that great. But hey, before we leave here, I'll try to figure out something how to do this off-screen, but... I might actually deliver some more states. So the, the Germans combined, they make up about a little over 40%. We've got a lot of Italians, Hungarians, Polish, others. And right now, we have North and South German as an accepted core population. Um, we can screw the CSA. Jesus Christ. What the heck? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, they really like us, actually. Um, with that in mind, I'm probably going to have to figure out what I'm going to do down here. German Africa is nice, but we're going to deliberate a lot of people. We're going to have to deliberate pretty much everyone. We're now the most prestigious nation in the world. We have the largest military in the world. But hey, we'll see. But if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below uh, if you haven't already. And uh, this is probably not going to be very good. The United Annex of the United Baltic Duchy. Um, before we leave, though, I do want to show the culture map mode. So we got all the Germans. And some French, too. Like, we took that uh, Audines. This has been one heck of an episode. I've been playing this for like three hours, four hours off screen. Or just in total. Like, four hours in total. But as you can see, we got a lot of different cultures here that we're going to deal with. I really wasn't planning on doing making the German Empire like Greater Mega Germany right now, but it is what it is. And don't forget, uh, we got these guys down here too, too. So, yeah, and it looks like the CSA is going to die. But hey, thanks for watching, and have a great, great rest of your day.